Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, 29 July, and I'm here to read you the top stories of the day. DMK President and former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi suffered a setback to his health in the early hours of July 28th at his residence in Gopalpuram and was rushed to the nearby Kaveri Hospital. In a bulletin, the hospital said that there was a drop in his blood pressure and it was subsequently stabilized. He is in the ICU and is being treated by a panel of expert doctors. The nonagenarian leader had suffered from fever and infection earlier in the week and was being treated round the clock by a team of doctors and nursing personnel at his house. As of 6 a.m. this morning, DMK cadres started gathering around Kaveri Hospital. Policemen have placed additional barricades near the hospital in Alwarpet in anticipation of larger crowds today. Telecom Regulatory Authority of India or TRAI Chairman R.S. Sharma on Saturday tweeted his Aadhaar number with the challenge to show how the knowledge of the 12-digit number could be misused to harm him. Responding to this challenge, Twitter users posted his mobile number, residential address and other personal details. However, Sharma said that these details do not cause him any harm and were already available in the public domain. Sharma's challenge came a day after the Sri Krishna Committee submitted its report on data protection, including amendments in the Aadhaar Act and new safeguards to protect information of Aadhaar holders. The panel recommended that the Aadhaar Act be amended significantly to bolster privacy safeguards and mooted that only public authorities discharging public functions approved by the UIDAI or entities mandated by law be given the right to request for identity authentication. More than 400 people have been killed due to floods and rains in five states during the current monsoon season, the Home Ministry said on Saturday. According to the Ministry's National Emergency Response Centre or NERC, as many as 465 people have died so far. 138 in Maharashtra, 125 in Kerala, 116 in West Bengal, 52 in Gujarat and 34 in Assam. Twelve teams of the National Disaster Response Force or NDRF were engaged in rescue and relief operations in Assam, the NERC said. The Sentence Review Board or SRB of the Delhi government has postponed the decision on the release of Jessica Lal murder convict Manu Sharma, currently lodged at the Tihar jail. A meeting of the board held yesterday also deferred several other release applications, including that of Tandoor murder case convict Sushil Sharma, officials said. The applications of release were deferred as the board members were divided on the way forward, according to reports. It's a race to learn Japanese for every employee of the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited or NHSRCL as they work towards rolling out the Shinkansen, the high speed rail system from Japan. Every alternate day of the week, all Indian officials involved in the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project sit together with a professional language teacher to learn the ninth most spoken language in the world considered one of the toughest to master. According to officials, India is not just bringing in the hardware system of the high-speed train from Japan, but also the culture that runs one of the best operated transport systems in the world. Starting this October, NHSRCL officials will be sent to Japan to learn the nitty-gritty of the Shinkansen. What they learn will be important because they are expected to train around 3,000 personnel at the training institute in Vadodara who will be running the bullet train. The NHSRCL has decided to import the entire customer service manual of the Shinkansen. 
The manual is what determines customer service ethos and practices of the transport system's operations. The Shinkansen famously issues apology letters to passengers even for the slightest rare loss of punctuality. The track record of ensuring zero accidents is also ingrained in the Shinkansen culture of operations and maintenance. We round up this morning with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold at 76.27 rupees per liter and diesel for 67.83 rupees per liter. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.22 rupees per liter and diesel for 71.63 rupees per liter. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.71 rupees per liter and diesel for 72.01 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.14 rupees per litre and diesel for 70.52 rupees per litre.